Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I just wanted to come on today and just give you some encouragement because that's what I like to do. And uh, I know that at some point in our lives, we all need encouragement. We all need someone to tell us that uh, everything's going to be okay. Uh, we need someone to come, hey Lorraine, and uh, encourage us. And uh, I am driving right now, so if I don't catch you coming in or a comment, I do apologize. But I just wanted to take this opportunity and... Um, wanted to share with you guys you know there's so many times in our lives where we um, get sidetracked and distracted by everyday circumstances everyday situations uh, we allow ourselves to get lost if you will inside of uh, just our, our day to day and we forget about what God is doing in our lives and even if it's not something like super huge uh, we forget what you know what God is doing or what he's done and sometimes we just need a reminder and so that's what I'm here to do I'm here to remind you guys that God is our provider and you know I know we we hear that scripture I want to say it's Philippians 4 6 or something or other. I, I don't know the street address. Sorry. Thank you for inviting your followers, Lorraine. <clears throat> but here's the thing. We hear that scripture all the time. People quote it. You know, uh, God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. And, and uh, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. And uh, all of those scriptures that promise that God is going to provide for us and do for us and sometimes we think, oh yeah, that'll be for somebody else. Like, um, oh, I know that, uh, you know, sister, sister Blister or Brother Smother, I know that God will provide them with gas money so that they can get back and forth to work. And that God will bless so-and-so with, uh, you know, a new wardrobe. Or that, you know, God will, you know, oh, oh yes, God, oh, yes, God will bless that person with a new car because they're special. They're more special to God than than what I am. And that's a trick of the enemy. It's a lie of the enemy. And you know, I found myself in that same vein of thinking where I'm thinking um oh yeah, that I can believe that for you. Oh, let me just pray down heaven pray down heaven and and stomp out hell on behalf of you and your situation that God is going to provide for you and that God is going to give you this and God is going to do this for you. But when it comes to <clears throat> believing for myself, I fall short. And I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. I know for a fact that I am not the only one that falls short in that situation where we, you know, where we fail to believe that God is going to do for us what we need him to do. And so the reason why I'm, I'm on this vein today is because, you know, <clears throat> October, yeah, it was about October of last year, uh, my van uh, stopped working and it was too much to fix it. The transmission head went out. The car wasn't even worth 500 bucks, uh, except for the fact that it was paid for. Um, but it wasn't worth. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth me um, doing anything, you know, fixing it or getting a, a new car. Um, I actually bought that car for 500 dollars about 11 years ago. And she lasted, I may be in uh, repairs, maybe 
maybe over the course of 10 years, maybe three to $4,000 I put into that car. And so not only was that car a blessing because of the cost of it, but because it lasted me and it more than paid for itself over and over and over and over and over again. And, you know, you would think that that would be enough for me to just believe, you know, that God was going to provide for me and that that would be enough of a faith builder. Well, apparently God had other, God was, God decided to use another situation to build my faith. So last October, my, uh, the vehicle decided to stop working. And through the course of this last year, God has provided five vehicles for me to drive. Okay? Five. And I didn't realize it as it was happening, how huge this was. I mean, how huge of a provision these five vehicles were. I know, Lorraine, I know. So these five vehicles that God provided for me were other people's vehicles that they let me use. Okay, I didn't rent them. I didn't pay anything for them. I used them. Hey, Leash. Five vehicles. Other people's vehicles that they handed me their keys and said, you can use this. And I, you know, as it was happening throughout the time, I mean, I'd have moments where I'm like, wow, this is really nice. This is really neat. You know, I don't have to worry about asking for a ride or I don't have to worry about this or that. And so, you know, it was a matter of, you know, going back and forth and, and wondering, you know, I, but I never really sat down and thought about the fact that how huge this was. I'm going. Because I'm not going to sit here and wait for another 15 minutes. Anyway, sorry you guys. Nah. This is me driving. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so I said all of that to say that I was the kind of person that would, like I said, would like pray down fire from heaven on your behalf for your situation, for, for God to provide for you. But I didn't believe it for myself. And so God has shown me over the past year, a little over a year, um, that he's going to provide for me. And he has provided five vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. Over the course of the last, like, little over a year. And so, I mean, if that isn't it, so about two or three weeks ago, I really sat down and I thought, wow, God, how amazing of a testimony. And I was talking with a friend of mine and she said, you know, if things had turned out differently, your faith would not be where it is right now. And you would not be standing on the promises of God. You would, you know, as strongly, you wouldn't be believing that God would provide for you as strongly you wouldn't have that measure of faith that you have right now because God used a, a situation that could have derailed you and showed you his provision through it and I was like you are exactly right and when I sat down and I realized that and I just literally had to cry I literally wept because I was like what I, I, I just I, my emotions were so strong about this situation and so I basically was like, you know, God, I really thank you. And if you never bless me again, I will be sufficiently blessed. All the while, I'm still believing God. I'm still holding on to the promise and still believing him for his provision, for him to provide my needs, for, you know, for the things that I need. And so about two months ago, the fifth car came into my um, came into my, uh, usage. I don't even know how to say it. I was, uh, f through a friend of mine. Um, and they were like, and this is a nice car. This is a 2006, uh, Buick LaCrosse that I'm driving right now. That they were just letting me borrow. Like, it's like, you know, here, borrow a t-shirt or something. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was, it was, it wasn't like, oh, I guess we can let you, you know, it was, 
here's the keys to the car, just give it back when you're done. And, oh, by the way, the only thing we want is for you to pay for the insurance. And I'm like, um, yeah, of course I'm going to pay for the insurance. You know, I mean, that's like ridiculous, but yes, I will. Anyway, so <clears throat> last Wednesday, uh, I received a text message from uh, this guy from my this uh, guy from my church. He and his wife own a uh, used car lot, and he had asked he had asked me before. He'd sent me texts like I don't know six months ago, eight months ago. You know, uh, I have a van for you for five hundred dollars, and I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I don't have five hundred dollars. I, my faith is out there that God is going to provide me with a car I don't have to pay for. That's where my faith is at. That I'm not going to have to pay for this car. And so I was like, okay. Nope, that's not going to work for me because that doesn't fit the criteria of what I'm believing God for. And, um, last Wednesday I get a text message and he asks me, do you have a car yet? I said, well, I'm driving this car of my, are you, are you, where, what are you doing? Go ahead. There you go. You were in the wrong lane. That's perfectly fine because I'm going this way. All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm talking to the other people and they can't hear me, but that's okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And he said, well, I have a car you can have. You just obviously have to pay for the fees, and then it's going to need an oil change and a transmission flush probably within the next month or so. Who does that? But my God. And, you know, so then, now this is car number six that I have not purchased that has been given to me by God and I am just I'm not surprised because I know that my God supplies all of my needs I know he does and prior to this whole experience I believe God for other people I believe that God would provide for other people. Um, I'm gonna, um, I, you know, I, I, I mean, like I said, I could pray down fire from heaven and and pray down some provision for other people, and but as far as myself, believing it for myself, I didn't have it. Like, I didn't have that faith for myself. Over the last year, God has built that faith. And so I just want to encourage you that He will provide. He does provide. He is in the business of blessing. And you know what? He wants to bless you more than you want to be blessed. That's how He rolls. That's how my father rolls. My daddy God does not want me to be without. But he will use a situation where I am without to teach me a lesson or to show himself strong. To show up and show out. And so I am so thankful and I just wanted to come on and encourage you that if you're believing God for something. Uh, for provision, if you're believing God for a vehicle, if you're believing God for finances, whatever you're believing God for. Keep on standing. Keep on believing. Keep on. Because he is not slack concerning his promises. He's not. Keep on keeping on. Amen. Amen. Well, you guys, that is what I wanted to say. That's what the Holy Spirit wanted me to share with you today. I just want you all to know that I am here to encourage you. If you would like to email me, my email is in my bio. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, under Street Talk with Stacy. 
Um, on here, obviously, you can follow me here. You're welcome, Lorraine. Uh, am I following you? I'm not. Okay, now I am. There we go. Okay, following you now. All right. Um, so, basically, I just want you to understand and know that he's got you. He's got your back. He's got your provision. He's got the provision. He has it. It's already done. You just have to keep on believing and keep your faith out there and he will provide. And so I just want y'all to know that. I want y'all to know that I love you and I am so appreciative of you uh, for coming on and being with me for this little short, uh, little short video. I will be uploading this to my uh, YouTube page, which is our YouTube channel, which is Straight Talk with Stacy. Um, if you'd like to see it again, I will share it on Facebook. Or you can share it from here. That's perfectly fine. Whatever you uh, whatever you feel the need to do, go ahead and do that. Um, I just really appreciate everybody for coming in, supporting, and being on. If you're catching this on the replay, um, just know that uh, I pray that this bless you and that I come on here to encourage and to lift up the, the people of God. And that is my assignment for right now. And I also teach a little. Um, but, um, just want you to know that I, uh, am so excited and in, in this time of my life where God is, has shown himself so strong, my faith has become stronger and I can now believe that for myself, which is a huge step. And so I just want you to know that that can happen for you too. And don't let the enemy lie to you and tell you that it's not the, the case. So I love you all and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.